Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was uh, born and raised in New Orleans and uh, grew up in uh, sort of central uptown. Uh, these days people call it Bouligny or maybe the periphery of Broadmoor. Uh, and um, spent all my life here. My parents were from here. And so certainly that influences one's direction as an artist, I think, as far as where you're from and from here in particular. And uh, went to a public school at Eleanor McMain High School and then on to Tulane. So at Tulane, uh, I was at the time studying uh, history and studying art uh, with the intention of becoming a school teacher. In the art department, I saw listed as an option that you could study glass, art making with glass. And so immediately that struck me as a pretty exciting prospect. Some of the uh, artists who are in New Orleans, uh, who many of us think of, like, uh, like uh, Mitchell Godet or, or, uh, or Mark Rosenbaum, actually spent time at the Tulane program. Then they went out into the city, uh, had their own success, and uh, then attracted other people to come work with them in the city of New Orleans. So as the Tulane program has endured, students graduate from Tulane, and many times they stay in New Orleans. We now have people who are from all over the country who make New Orleans their home, who are glass artists. And then we all work with one another because you can't make anything by yourself of any size. You know, you, you need uh, assistance, you need partners. So we depend on the presence of a substantial community to be able to make our work. The uh, typical glass studio hot shop, we call it a hot shop where the hot glass is uh, being worked. It starts with a furnace. And so the furnace has to keep the glass molten at all times. It, it takes a long time to bring that furnace up to temperature and it has to be brought up very slowly or the walls will crack. So it's a delicate piece of equipment. So we get the furnace up and then we load it with glass and that glass stays hot. Then uh, that's where you gather the, the hot glass and to work the hot glass, you use what we call a glory hole. That's the round uh, forge, if you will, that you move the glass in and out of in order to keep it hot. It has to be hot enough to manipulate, to move, to form, to sculpt. Uh, if it gets too cold and stops moving, it will crack. So you've got to keep it hot enough not to crack, and you have to keep it, uh, within reason, cool enough that it's not just molten and flying around and you, you lose whatever you sculpted, you know. When you watch a team of people working in the glass hot shop to make a piece of art, you'll see that it often takes a number of people. Everyone has to know what they're doing. Everyone has to know what comes next and how it will be done. And it usually involves a number of people actively engaged in that moment. The, the assistants who, who helped me, we've been working together for a while, and uh, we know each other's style. We know what what kind of a job each person will do on the studio floor. So that way when we get ready to do it, uh, in a sense we've rehearsed, it's like a dance, it's a team of people, it's almost like a, like in a, in a football game, each, each person needs to know what they're gonna be doing, the whole thing falls apart. I'd say one thing I really enjoy about being an artist in New Orleans is that it's the kind of community where art is for everyone and it exists on all levels, almost to the point that when someone begins to call themselves an artist on that sliding scale, am I just someone who likes to make these little things or am I an artist? In New Orleans, it runs the gambit. People are doing wonderful things in their front yard versus high-end gallery finished art. Uh, so I would think that uh, art making and art viewing and art uh, collecting is for everyone and that, uh, that that's when it's at its greatest strength is when it's just a part of the community, when it's just a natural part of the culture, that there is art in your world. And you go to some places and there's, everything is blah, it's, there's no creative expression. Art is something else. I don't understand it. I would hope that everyone would, under, would, uh, would love art and understand the broad concept, creative expression, that's really all you need. <laughs>